Researchers say that a potential recruiter makes the first impression of a candidate within the first 10 minutes of meeting that person. A crisp, power-packed resume might bring you to the interview table. But how you present your answers, the way you speak is what will determine if you'll actually back the job or not. So, fasten your seatbelts and let's begin. A strong introduction is the first piece of information that is being passed on from you to your recruiter. So your self-introduction plays a crucial role in this entire interview process. A recruiter who's already called you for an interview has probably done at least one cold call with you, therefore has studied your profile and resume it thoroughly. So this person actually knows your profile very well, but in spite of that, they'll still ask the question. So. Tell me something about yourself. Now, this is the situation that you have to be prepared for in advance. And this preparation process will actually give you an edge over your other competitors who are applying for the same job. So take this as a green signal and a golden opportunity to create an amazing impression in front of the recruiter. An ideal self-introduction would be, Hello, I'm Nandita Vaidyanathan. I have done my bachelor's and my master's in commerce from one of the most reputed colleges in Mumbai. Post this, I found my calling in teaching and decided to take it up as a full-time career. With the intention of diving deeper into this field, I decided to pursue my bachelor's in education and complete a one-year diploma in early childhood care education. I have learned several other skills like classroom management, discipline retention, organization of events, etc. I have also had the opportunity of teaching English to students from kindergarten to fifth grade in one of the most reputed international schools in Mumbai. This was an enriching experience for me because I could test out all the knowledge that I had gained through my teacher's training. So this is my self-introduction. A self-introduction is a quick way to present your entire profile within two minutes. Now. Let me break this down into six parts and tell you exactly why this strategy is so effective. Think of your self-introduction like a sales pitch. Your name is actually your brand name. You are your brand and you are your product. You have to convince the buyer that you are the best brand available in the job market. For that, first the brand name has to register in their minds. This is why television ads come with jingles. So people retain the brand names in a better way in their minds. This ensures that the brand name is retained in people's memory. Now, when I'm saying brand name, I don't mean to objectify you in any way. I'm just drawing a parallel so you can understand it clearly. So your first job is to have a pleasant smile on your face and state your name clearly. Even if you're not actually that confident, you can still fake it. Okay, now you tell me which sounds better. Uh, hi, myself uh, Nandita. Or, hello, my name is Nandita Vaidyanathan and thank you for the opportunity of meeting you. Doesn't the second option sound better? This is because you have camouflaged all of your tension with a pleasant smile on your face. Simple thing will actually show the recruiter that you are at comfort and ease or at least you're making an attempt to be comfortable. Second, I'm stating all of my qualifications one by one, which helps the recruiter understand and believe that you have all the qualifications required for this job and you're not just some rando who's come for an interview. I'm also stating that I have studied in a reputed college which adds that brand name to my profile. Now obviously you're not going to tell them your 10th and 12th marks unless uh, you've just come out of high school. So when they know that you've been accepted by a reputed college, it's understood that you must have scored well in order to get entry into it. Third, I'm talking about when I found my interest in teaching. So I've clearly stated that right after my college, I found my calling in teaching. So the recruiters know that even if there's a slight change of careers, she has seriously decided to pursue teaching as a real career opportunity. Because all of your claims in being interested in this field is being backed up by your qualifications and your work experience. Pursuing a two-year degree that too after finishing my post-graduation shows that I'm serious about this profession. Now again, I have proved my interest towards this field by saying that I have also done a one-year diploma in ECCA. This makes my profile even more stronger. So before you go for the interview, actually decide the sequence of how you want to tell all of this. Remember, more than what you say, how you say actually matters the most. Everything is in the how. 
how effectively you speak how effectively you answer the questions the kind of eye contact you make your body language during the interview the kind of crisp clear answers you give all this makes a hell of a lot of difference in your presentation so plan write down your self introduction stand in front of the mirror and practice giving this self introduction so that during the interview you don't end up stammering fourth i have gone on to list the kind of skills that i have learned during my bachelor's apart from of course the main skill that is teaching so if you're an engineer you're not going to say okay i'm an engineer and just sit there right you're going to say okay i have coding knowledge i know python uh, i'm a certified scrum master and you will state all the other technical skills that you've gained over the years see you have to understand that as recruiters their job is to match the right skills with the right candidate for the job it all comes down to how you pitch your profile in front of the recruiters and a solid introduction is a foundation brick that you add to this building so the sum and substance is mentioning all of the skills that are required for this job is super important by the way if you wanted to know how i attracted my dream job in an mnc using the law of attraction and how you can do it too i have added a playlist at the end of the video coming to my fifth point here i have mentioned my work experience by saying that you've gained a lot of knowledge from this work experience you are actually proving that you've put all of this theory that you've learned to test and you've had real time experience of this career and this is actually a really big deal in the corporate world like they say the proof is in the pudding so if you want to prove to your potential recruiters that you are indeed a really good cook then you will have to cook and show them a proof that you actually have all the cooking skills in order to make that perfect dish if you've liked my video up till this point then please share my video in your whatsapp groups so this might just help someone who's going to give an interview now last but not the least i am ending my pitch with an irresistible combination of my qualifications being backed up by valid work experience this is the combination that every head hunter is waiting for trust me the recruiter just wants to close the position and give someone the offer letter and they'll be sorted for at least a year until that position doesn't become vacant again I'll be more than happy to make more such videos on effective interview tips. But if you don't comment below, how will I know? Sapne me thodi aayega. So, will you hire me for the job? If yes, please subscribe to Nandu ki Paatshala, and I will consider it as an offer letter. See you in the next video. Bye.